Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Peppa and George are visiting <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa. Of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's the... Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish. Glass, if glass breaks easily. Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it... Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato cooey. Grandad Dog. Ah, oh, Granny Pig. Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Huh? Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, <sniffs> yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted ever. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is... Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing. Mm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my green... Salad in the world ever! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are going to playgroup today. Ahop. Good morning, children. Will you look after Molly, please? Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> Molly, have you ever played? Yes, I'm a mole. Moles are good at digging. <laughs> the parents have come to pick up the children. I'm time, Rebecca. <laughs> Molly Mole. <laughs> Why not? I'll pick you up later. Peppa is going to Molly Mole's house. <laughs> but where do you live, Molly? We've moved in underneath Rebecca's house. Squeak. Come and see. <laughs> How do you lock your new bedroom, Molly? It's lovely and cosy. <laughs> this is my new friend, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Mole. <laughs> Deal. Do you know where Molly Mole's family live? Yes, they have moved in underneath us. Underneath you? Yes, it's quite exciting. Captains, let me know if you need any advice. That's very kind of you. Yes, but... it takes a lot of skilled people to build a house. Plumbers, electricians... To do, but... How are you holding the ceiling up? Is it a steel or a concrete lintel? Lintel? What's a lintel? Well, the good thing about digging a house... Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Mole. <laughs> oh, I hope it's OK. I've just made a doorway in your floor. A doorway in... How's the extension going? Almost there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> it's great having a hole between our houses. Are you living here, Molly? I like living here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my best, please? <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole and Rebecca Rabbit are best friends. Peppa Pig. Move to music. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today you will use your emo, okay? It makes me think of music. Right. Use your imaginations. What pictures did the music make you see? Rooted to the rocky mountain top, bending in the wind. You are a tree. Your feet are rooted to the ground. Feet. Now, listen to this piece of music. What did that music make? A cherry tree swaying quickly. Danny, it reminded me of a marching band. Very good, Danny. Hitting your drums. That's it. Marvelous march.
Teaching Children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, Madame. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robot music. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. There. Oh. No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. <laughs> Follow me, everyone. <laughs> Jumping up and down in mud. Jumping up and down. Peppa loves moving to music, to music. With an oink, oink hit and a woof, woof, the pig. London! Peppa and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? Hello, Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus? Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, your... The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Fast stop. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of big... A hundred times. Then it would be broken. On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. It's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow. Tower Bridge. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. Great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! This one. It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your eyes. All the square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a splash, your magic. The Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Ma You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. A pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in store. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle, where you will be met by a cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Today, cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval bang boom, where the king and queen would sit. Ooh. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll... But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. This must be... As part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. 
And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Good robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the tour. Hope you had a lovely time. I think that <laughs> Everyone loves castles. Peppa Pig. Miss Rabbit's taxi. Pepper and George are shopping with Mummy Pig. <laughs> That's a lot of sh I didn't bring the car. I didn't think you'd be buying so much. Oh, I'll call for a taxi. Taxi service. Where are you going? Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, please. Righty ho, hop in. Why are you talking so much? It's what taxi drivers do, Peppa. Ah. Mind you, we will need this. It's a tin opener. I know what it is, Granny Pig. If you want to boil an egg, fill a pan full of water. Yes, then... yes, I. I'd better call a taxi. Taxi service. Hello, Granny Pig. I'd like to go to the... <laughs> bye! Bye-bye! She's going on holiday. Holiday? I never have time to go on holiday. I'm too busy being in a hurry. Miss Rabbit, bye-bye. Pepper and George are waving Granny Pig goodbye. <laughs> Here is Mr Wolf. Taxi! Hop in. Oh, it's gone. Been on holiday, have you? I'm actually very tired. Do you mind if we don't talk? Hello, could you pick us up from the airport, please? The airport? Righty ho! Stop! Have you got any luggage? Just the sand. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's taxi. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <coughs> No problem. Take us home, please, Miss Rabbit. Righty ho. <laughs> Sorry to catch you waiting. A Miss Rabbit. Peppa Pig. Scooters. <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are playing on their scooters. <laughs> George, <laughs> shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! Pepper! George! That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. Not so fast. Bye bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. Scootering. Wee. Daddy Pig, you're riding Pepper's scooter. Yes. Today. Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> it is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mum. Okay. Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig. Peppa! George! <gasps> oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! Love scootering. <laughs> Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> Peppa Pig. School project. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, who can tell me what this is? 
Cardboard, plastic bottles, egg boxes... Can we use glitter? Oh, please, not too much glitter. It gets everywhere. Can I make the... Some very good news. What's that, Pepper? I am doing a new school project. <laughs> school project? Oh, what is it, Pepper? I... It has to be good. Pepper, what exactly did Madame Gazelle tell you to do? She told us to use our imagination. And a fantastic castle. Would you to make a real fairy palace? Yes, with all the little fiddly bits. <laughs> Hello? But much, much bigger. If it needs to be big, we should use concrete. No, Daddy Pig. We just need to find a big enough cardboard box. Have we? Why do they use so much packaging for these things? Shall I take the box away for you? Oh, yes. Thank you. No, Daddy. We need that box. Hello. Can I speak to Pepper, please? Pepper, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. How's your school project going? I'm doing very well. Very good. But it still looks a bit cardboardy. Hmm. Maybe I can paint it. I need to get on with my work now, Susie. See you. Glitter! Oh, um, glitter would stop the castle looking real. And anyway, we've, um, completely run out of glitter. It's made out of a cardboard box. It is a very fine castle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Pedro, did you not make a castle? And my castle really is big enough for me to live in. <laughs> Pepper loves school projects. <laughs>